thank you, Valerie. And I want to thank Dan and Debbie uh, for choosing me to be with this wonderful group of people. I don't know how I fit into this, but somehow you squeeze me. You squeeze me in. My dear nationality friends, we are a nation of immigrants. And we're all saying that tonight, but it's true. Or maybe your parents or grandparents came from another country. But they all came here legally, and they were seeking. They were seeking freedom. They were seeking opportunities and all the successes that America could give. The immigrants all brought. The immigrants all brought knowledge, skills, abilities, and they built this great city. They built the churches, the bridges, the roads, the schools. But the most remarkable, the most remarkable achievement of the immigrants was to establish the first peace garden in the world, known as the Cleveland Cultural Gardens. I remember spending many summer Sundays dressed in my Polish costume and singing and dancing in the gardens. They are a wonderful tourist attraction, and we must always preserve and protect them. At the turn of the 20th century, there was a great... <laughs> At the turn of the 20th century, there was a great influx of immigrants, and many worked long hours to earn money to start a small business Others bought land and became farmers, and they brought their fruits and vegetables to the West Side Market and Central Market to sell them. My grandfather worked in the steel mills many hours. Then he would come home and he cut the neighbor's hair for 25 cents. All this to support his family. When he was bedridden due to cancer, I was four years old. He would call me to sing a Polish song for him. Then he'd reach under his pillow and gave me a nickel. I would run all the way to the local ice cream store to get a Blue Moon ice cream cone. I loved it. Other times he would place 15 cents, a nickel and a dime in my hand. He'd close my hand and then he put his beer pail in my other hand, and he would send me to the local tavern three blocks away to get beer for him. <laughs> well, all I can tell you is that if this happened today, he would be arrested for child endangerment or corruption, but I don't think I'm too corrupt. <laughs> We remained in the Slavic village throughout my childhood and young adulthood. One of my least favorite memories is of the Paper X man. I don't know if any of you know what it, it was. He was saying paper rags, but it sounded, he had an accent, so it would sound like paper X, you know. Well, he drove this buckboard, buckboard drawn by a strong workhorse. He wore dirty clothes and he never smiled. As the residents, all my neighbors, sold papers to him, rags, and other items that he could resell for profit. Just hearing the clock and horses, a hoofs on the red brick street put fear in my heart. Especially when I misbehaved and my mom would threaten to sell me to that paper instrument. That put the fear of God in me. But my fondest memory of my childhood was when I was in the first grade. My teacher, Sister Mary Marcella, was only 15 years old. I didn't know that then. I just found that out in the last 10 years. She knew that I spoke Polish, so she would put me in a corner of the room with the new Polish immigrant children who came to Cleveland, and I had to teach them English while she was conducting the class. And I always wondered 
What did I miss? Maybe I could have been the first woman president if I had, if I had first grade. <laughs> In those days, we walked almost everywhere. We walked to school, to church, dancing lessons, singing lessons, music lessons, movies for 10 cents, to the grocery store, the library. Most of our parents didn't have cars. But we were happy, and we were poor, but we were happy. In 1959, when the Cuyahoga County Auditor Ralph Perk established the American Nationalities Movement to support the captive nations of the world, I was a member. Then in 1985, I was elected Executive Secretary of this group, and in 1999, upon the expiration of Mayor Perk, I was unanimously elected president, in which position I still serve. We have 40 unique nationalities belonging with over 500 members. I am very proud of my ancestry, and I'm sure you are proud of yours. Let us vow today to continue to protect and preserve our cultural traditions and customs while protecting and preserving the Constitution of the United States. Thank you.